Hello listeners and welcome to today's Cult News. I'm your speaker Casey, host of the Cult Vault podcast and for today's segment I'm bringing you an overview of the case surrounding Liana Shanti. The reason I've decided to do this today is because I will be bringing two interviews this week regarding the same subject, and now feels like a prevalent time to cover this online guru in multiple spaces. In August 2022, I saw some online activity regarding an alleged abusive online personality who was conning people out of thousands of dollars, causing families to separate from each other with children caught in the middle, all whilst remaining somewhat hidden, never meeting devout followers online. I decided to try and find out more about this elusive character that called herself Liana Shanti. I spoke with those who have family members involved in Shanti's inner circle, and also with experts who had looked into her work and what they thought of it. I even got together with friend of the Cult Vault podcast, Siren Warner, an investigative journalist who works on cult stories, and asked for help in looking into records to trace this person's history, as there appeared to be nothing online other than her own website, which I felt could be potentially dishonest or biased in her favour, and a few short summaries written by families and loved ones affected by Shanti who were already on the case of exposing this potential online predator. It turns out that Liana Shanti is actually Leanne Wilson, and through some further searches online, we ascertained that she used to be a practising lawyer, but didn't practise for long, and when her licence ran out, she never seemed to renew it. We also found out that there was some questionable financial activity linked to many different aliases that Leanne Wilson has adopted throughout the years. I had heard from victims of Shanti's that there was a big expose in the works, I began wondering when the expose would come out, who was heading the investigation, what platform it would land on and in what media form. And then on March the 6th, 2023, Jennings Brown released a hefty, detailed article on the Daily Beast titled The Mysterious Sisterhood Tearing Families Apart. This was big news. Jennings Brown is somebody that I have long admired from his extensive coverage on Teal Swan, throughout his six-part podcast series The Gateway, which led to Jennings becoming the development executive producer for Hulu and Freeform's documentary The Deep End. Throughout this work, Jennings had been invited to Swan Centre in Costa Rica and would go on to spend time with Robert Burton's Fellowship of Friends in 2018, a less-than-traditional doomsday sect that has direct ties to the Odyssey study group, which I've explored a lot on this podcast, as some of you may know. Conspirituality podcast host Matthew Remsky describes Jennings as the Doctor Who of the cultiverse this week in a recent interview regarding Jennings and his work on Liana Shanti. As it appears that Jennings Brown shows up with a breaking news story on a figure who would eventually, after his work, become an extremely controversial figure in the wider public eye. It appears that through Jennings' journalism on Shanti, much like the information provided in previous ventures regarding Swan and Burton, many people previously unaware of Liana Shanti are now taking notice and having conversations. Jennings' original expose on the Daily Beast details how Shanti has been systematically isolating followers from family members, with individuals adopting beliefs into QAnon-adjacent conspiratorial thinking, aligned with satanic panic rhetoric, anti-vax sentiments, and the idea that memories of abuse by loved ones can be recalled and confirmed by Liana Shanti herself, according to those who have been interviewed for the expose. There is also information on how followers who find Liana Shanti's teachings through a number of different online avenues are usually encouraged to take part in juice cleanses, coffee enemas and other holistic health treatments that Liana Shanti sells for pricey packages on one of her many websites. Followers are also encouraged to listen to Liana Shanti's audio teachings on MP3, typically two or three times a day. The second Daily Beast article by Jennings Brown was released April and details how the original expose has caused Liana Shanti to be called in front of a federal judge. In the first article, we learned that Liana Shanti is a convicted felon, charged with bankruptcy fraud, and is currently on probation. After the original expose gained traction around the world, Shanti's probation officer caught wind of her many business ventures and perhaps abusive and coercive strategies being used to exploit followers out of huge sums of money. Today, a third article was released detailing Liana Shanti's court appearance, 
stating that the federal judge has suggested that Liana Shanti post as Leanne Wilson on her social media accounts and places where followers come together to inform them all at least twice a week publicly that she is on probation for bankruptcy fraud. When Liana Shanti's legal representation declined this suggestion, the judge gave them two weeks to prepare an alternative suggestion. The article states, quote, I don't know how else to communicate with someone who attracts clientele by using the internet, Judge Mulway said. She cannot both say, I get to freely put out what I want, freedom of speech on the internet, and get all these tens of thousands of people to pay me enormous amounts of money, but judge, don't you violate my rights by making me post anything on the internet to in any way affect that, end quote. A few hours after the hearing, Shanti posted on her Instagram, quote, light has already won, and people who were afraid to speak out are now empowered, end quote. With the brave work of family members and loved ones affected by this, stepping forward to share their knowledge and experiences, we wouldn't have this information today. Without the keen eyes and ears of top-notch investigative journalist Jennings Brown working alongside these loved ones, we wouldn't have these second-to-none exclusive exposés. Thank you so much to each of you for making all of this work possible. There is so much story that I cannot fit into a quick news segment, so be sure to check out Jennings Brown's three full-length articles, which I've linked in the description. You can also check out a lengthy talk that I did on Chris Shelton's podcast, which is linked below, or watch this space for an interview with Jennings coming this week, as well as a heartbreaking but extremely moving interview with a mother who has gone to extreme lengths to save her child from the influences of Liana Shanti. That is the end of today's cult news. Join me tomorrow for more. I'm your speaker, Casey, host of the Cult Vault podcast. <laughs>